All right. Um, hopefully, if everything works, I should be recording and everything should be good. In any case, um, I'm Maniac, and I am just trying something new here. Um, I've been wanting to try doing Let's Plays for a while, and I just never got around to doing it. So I'm just going to give it a shot here, you know, just, just to, you know, sort of build uh, some technical skills and all that. In any case, um, I I played a bit of Skyrim before. Um, I probably would prefer to play on controller rather than uh, using PC controls because I'm a wuss like that. But in any case, um, yeah, I I just don't know a whole lot. Uh, and yeah, I had previous save data, but it all got deleted when my computer freaked the fuck out. So in case, we're going to start with a new game. Uh, hope that this is somewhat entertaining to you. Loading! 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 Are we, gonna, are we in? Are we in? Are we, are we in? Oh yes, there we go. Bethesda Game Studios presents... A really blurry ass world. Yeah, this this is Skyrim, obviously. Um, Elder Scrolls V. Um, yeah, this is uh, the remastered version. Uh, yeah, they gave it to me after I bought the original Skyrim. I figured that they were just like, hey, you can you can go ahead and have it. So, yeah, I. Man, he looks like he's wearing some eyeliner, man. <sighs> Boy, howdy. Hey, like, you. emo much, eh? Oh, hi, dude. You were trying to cross the border, right? Was I? Right into that imperial ambush. So that happens. Us. And that thief over there. Damn uh. the storm cloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the storm cloaks the Empire wants. Oh, uh, okay. And sisters in vines now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch Bad day, out. probably. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric, the Jarl of Windhelm. You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they capture you, oh, huh. where are they taking us? Huh. Sucks to be you. No, where we're going. But sovereign guard away. I mean, we're gonna this get executed. This isn't happening. Sure it is. Ah, sucks to be you. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be your home. Nah. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. Ork. Sure. The headsman is waiting. Good. Gonna get my head cut right. off. Sure. Tamara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh. Divines, please help me. Gonna get my head cut off. Gonna get my head cut off. Oh, get my head cut off. Gonna get Lord. my head. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Hey, don't be racist. They're just people like you and me. Don't be rude. This is Helga. I used to be sweet on a girl. I wonder if Vlod is still making that mead with juniper berries. Mixed well, she's gonna be dead soon. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. That sucks to be you. I'm probably gonna work for the Empire, let's be honest. That's what I always do in these games. Why? I wanna watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Papa, we're gonna get our heads cut off. We'll enjoy the show. It'll be great. We're gonna right. die. End of the line. Ah, for you maybe, not for me. Fucking, I'm a protagonist. Let's I'm go. a. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Ah, we should keep the guards waiting. We should keep the definitely keep the guards waiting. With some courage, no. You've got to tell them we were. No. This is a mistake. No, I refuse. Can I walk around yet? Damn lists. 
I love lists. I'm really shit at making them, but I like lists. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Head cut off. Head cut off. Oh. No, I'm not a rebel. You Head cut this. off. Head cut off. Get shot. 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 You're dead. You're dead, bitch. Yo -ha! You got fucking suck. Wait. You there? Step huh? Forward. I don't know. Who the fuck am I? Um, whatever I should be, I should be hot. Don't care what it is. I should be very hot. No, not hot. Ugh. I mean, there's a certain roguish charm to that, but I don't know. Uh, not hot. Could be hot, but boring. Kajut. Cat person! I'm not a- I'm not a furry, so no thank you. Imperial. Alright. Uh, High Elf. Ooh boy, they don't look that good. Dark Elf. Ooh, I like the- I dig the eyes. Um. Breton. Or an Angronian. I mean, I could try to make a sexy lizard, but I'd rather not. Um. Again, I'm not a furry, or I guess it'd be a scaly in that case. Um, this reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the hit skin to regenerate health very quickly. Breton, in addition to their quit, quick and prospective grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of High Rocks Breton, Bre Bretons can boast their resistance to magic. Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. Eh, maybe. Um, also known as Dunmer in the homeland of Morrowind, Dark Elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. Cool, cool. Okay, also known as Altmer in their homeland of Somerset Isle, the High Elves are, um, are, mo are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all races. They can call upon their high born power to regenerate Magicka quickly. Because of course, when you've got to rip off the Lord of the Rings races, you have to have more than one kind of elf. Imperial! Imperial natives of Cyrodiil, they have the power to be shrewd diplomats and traitors. They are skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, Imperials are always always seem to find a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to claim an en to calm an enemy. Okay, so you got the charisma class there. Furries, uh, hailing from the province, province of elsewhere, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. Uh, they make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khaljeet uh, can see in the dark at will, can have unarmed claw attacks, nor citizens of Skyrim. They are tall, fair, well, fair-haired people. Like, you know, the Nordic people of Scandinavia and the like. Strong and hardy, Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make opponents flee. Orc, uh, people of Rothgrain and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using their Berserker Rage. Redgar, the most uh, naturally talented warriors in Tamaril. The, uh, the Red Guards of Hammerfell are a hard, have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They call upon in general in Russian combat. And lastly, you got the Wood Elves, the clan folk of the Western Valen Wood Forest, also known as Bosmer. Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and are no f and there are no fighting archers in all Tamirel. They have natural resistances to po uh, poisons and diseases. They can command animals to fight for them. As nice as it sounds, I want to play the Charisma class. Also, I know that you probably don't give a shit about what I'm reading. Um, that is exactly why I'm doing it, because fuck it, I want to read, and I would normally read all this stuff uh, under normal circumstances. And so, yeah, that's what I do. 
I'm gonna do it, whether you like me to or not. Do I want to be male or female? Male or female? Male or female? Of course, females are hotter. Males are not hot. Female, male, female, male, female, male. I'm going to be male, of course. I always am male in my freaking games. I have to be male. God damn it. Oh uh, man, these guys are not attractive at all. Of course I'm going to go through and make my own appearance. Um, in any case, so skin tone, he can be dark or fucking luminescent, glowing in the dark. I'll go with... Oh well, yeah, I like that skin tone. Wait. Mm, ultra bulk or ultra skinny. I'll go with uh, more on the skinny side, I think. Yeah, more on the skinny side. Shame we don't have f fat guys. Yeah, on the skinny side. Uh, there is fine with me. <laughs> Head, complexion. Oh, so basically we're choosing if we want him to be a youngin or an olden. Uh, well, and to see what kind of quality of skin he has. Uh, I like that one more. Dirt, 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 dirt. Why is there an option to make him dirty? Can I make the dirt an interesting color? Actually, I like that. It's like, it's like, it's like. Makeup. It it makes it, it brightens up his complexion a little bit. Evens out evens out the face. Evens out the face and makes him look fabulous. Scars. Oh, that's a sexy scar. Uh, not as sexy. Mmm, pretty sexy. Uh, decently sexy. Um, darn sexy. I mean, like it's not as attractive. Lip, lip scar is definitely nice and good uh, across the face. Eye scar. Oh, it's just choosing whether which side to be on? No. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Uh, the Itachi scar is very tempting, but I think I'll go with this one. War paint. Of course war paint. Um, quarterback. Um... Hmm, 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 hmm. I do say I do like these intricate ones a lot more. Um, I have no idea what they mean. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I'll leave this one a little, uh, open for now. Um, and go for this simple one. Might come back later. What would be the most unlikely color to have war paint in? Uh, not many things are blue. Also, you know, old red dyes were difficult to get. Same with purple. Um, white does contrast nicely with his skin, though. Um, don't want black. It doesn't show up very well. Um... This, this, this is, like, supposed to be, like, Norway. I'll go with purple. Boop. Nope, doesn't work still. Doop. Come on. Come on. Change, darn you. Boop. Okay. Nose type. Uh... uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna give him a skinny nose, let's be honest. A little sco too skinny, perhaps. I'll go four. That looks pretty normal. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'll go for something in between. Obviously. Uh, that's probably good. Um, whoop, whoop. Well, I can probably rotate him. 
There you go. Giant beak of a nose, or completely normal nose. I guess I'll go with normal nose. Can't tell what the heck's going on from this angle. Look at me, boy. Mm, gotta go for the high bones, for the for the uh, for the jaw, for for the nice jaws. Mm, he looks like an old man, so he looks like a freak. Mm, that's pretty good. Sounds like I'm getting a phone call, but whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm in the middle of this. Mm, mm, <laughs> can't see it from this angle. Jaw back, cheekbone height. Cheekbones that could slay a monster. High cheekbones, definitely. Brings his eyes out. Makes his eyes look more intense. Look at those piercing eyes and those beautiful cheek cheekbones. Mm, don't want to quite them have him be that far, but maybe a little bit. There we go. Cheek color. Oh, yeah, I'll brighten up the complexion a little bit. Laugh lines. I can't tell what difference is. We're... Where are the laugh lines? Is it just whether you want him to be really dark or not? I guess I'll have him be really dark, at least he has them. Uh, cheek color lower. Again, line up that complexion a little bit. So he doesn't look so filthy. Neck color. Why would you... What's so important about neck color? Show me that neck. Uh, I guess so. Forehead color. I'm a proud man. A proud man with a fair face. Thank you very much. Mm, pretty eyes. He looks sad. He looks okay. He looks. That nah, looks okay. Squinting. Around. Uh, he looks bored. His eyes look upside down. Uh. Oh. Go for. Uh. I'm happy with that. Uh, eye color. Okay, you can be blind in one eye. Or blind in both eyes. Uh, blue eyes, blind in one eye, blue eyes, gray eyes. Uh... Oh, heterochromia! Shame, no red eyes. Oh well. Um, always gotta hope for red eyes. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with heterochromia. I'm always a sucker for heterochromia. Eye height. I'm gonna put it like there we go. Aliens. Actually, it doesn't look bad. They don't look bad closer together. They don't look bad. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's weird. Definitely having to be sunk back in. That's weird too, though. God, like, all these parts just look like they're floating. Ugh, that looks good from the front, that looks decent from the side. Again, gotta emphasize those cheekbones. Love those cheekbones. Love those cheekbones. I. Uh, so he is wearing eyeliner! Uh. It's hard to tell the difference, and I'm a woman! I shouldn't know the difference. Also, he's like super in shadow. Uh, uh. Guess I'll go with that. Eye shadow. Eye tint. Talking about like underneath his eyes? Yeah. I'm gonna bronze his complexion up to a million. Okay, gotta have a noble brow. Oh, the eyebrows is what they're talking about. Still gonna have a noble brow. I wanna go with one that doesn't make him look so angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I like that one well enough. Brow height. <gasps> he's so surprised. Or he's really bad. I'll go for like there. Yeah, there. Mm, brow width. Yeah. It's very concerned about what's happening. I'll put it more towards there. Yeah. Uh. 
Wow, he looks like Worf. From this angle, he looks like Worf. That is uncanny. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put that back. Uh, I don't need a clown. I guess he looks pretty Klingon. He does look pretty, like, okay. Uh, let's try and brace a Klingon. I mean, I guess Klingons are hot. Um, I don't wanna go... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, I could go full clean on from here on out, but I do want to make him look rather lovely and, like, you know, Klingon's gonna have different lips, I guess. Uh, I should probably change his war paint, though, so it's more Klingon. I will do that. I just uh, need to... Ah, he looks happy! He looks happy! Mm. 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 Doesn't make a difference from this angle. Mm. Oh, that is weird. Skin your side. Chin length. on the smaller side, but have it be healthy so he has, like, a good bite. Mm. Yeah, looks good. Uh, chin forward. No, actually, that doesn't look that good. There you go. Looks a bit more... That looks like a bit more proud. Look at him. Look at him. He's so proud. Ooh, look at... Wait. Look at the pretty butterflies. Ah, ah, pretty... Pretty butterflies, pretty butterflies. Okay, enough of that. Mm-hmm. Gotta give him that red lipstick. Uh, that's the brightest lip color I can find. Okay, and uh, the most important touch. Gotta have that hair. Ugh, mohawks are hideous. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> Maybe. Nope. No. Maybe. I prefer a wild hairstyle, like something something that'd be more in his face. The braids I do dig. Balding, old guy, older guy, old guy, old guy. <sighs> Balding. I have a professor. I have a professor with this exact haircut, and yeah, he, he's wider though. So do do I dig the braids? So I think I'll go with that. And facial hair, of course, gotta have facial hair. So we got... Oh my gosh. Oh, he looks weird without a beard. I like him more with a beard. Rounds out his face more. Does it, it makes him have neck face less. Mm. Neck face. That's actually... I mean, that's pretty gentlemanly. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, no. Um <laughs> Mutton chops are amazing. Mutton chops are so 1840s. <laughs> Goatee looks pretty good. Look good looks pretty good on him. Beard, beard, beard. Uh, that beard's actually pretty good. It's like sinister. Mm, yes, very sinister. Very sinister indeed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nice trim on that, at least. It's hard, probably hard to difficult to maintain when you're, you know, on the run, being a criminal and all that. Oh, that's not bad. Grizzly. Er, er, er. Actually, does that kind of beard does a lot to round out his face, though. Um, okay. So do I want to go for like a super manly beard or just something light? Um. Yeah, I think I'm going with that. Um, cause you know, he, he, he obviously cares a bit about his appearance, you know, he keeps those braids in, um, he has enough, uh, sense to take care of that, and you know, it helps hide his scars a little bit, um, but you know, he doesn't want to be a slob, he cares about his appearance, can't, uh, can't, uh, gotta, gotta care about that. So, I think I'm pretty good, um, color, of course, uh, green, <laughs> okay. Uh, his hair is so dark. I'm I'm tempted to go with white and make him like think of him like sagely and old and like oh I'm so wise oh I'm so wise. It also just provides a nice contrast. 
I think I'll go with white. I think I'll go with white. Uh... Yeah, that right, white. Um, you can actually like see his face and it doesn't look as muddy. Um... <laughs> yeah. But first, gotta change that. Like, yeah, per again, purple goes well with that, um, with that, uh, uh, royal motif. Um, maybe I'm, like, the lost heir to something or other. I think I'll go with that. That way it doesn't, uh, cover up his scar as much. Um, so yeah. Oh, also, also, apparently heterochromia is something that people gain uh, through incest of their ancestors. So therefore, that even adds more credence to him being royal. The purple, the, the lovely trimmed beard, he actually cares about his appearance enough to, to, to rid his hair. Heterochromia, because his, his ancestors had incest, all that fun stuff. Um... So yeah, I think this is... Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, he's a handsome gent. Look at him. He looks so beautiful. He looks so beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this. Um, what am I gonna name him? I'm feeling a D name. Um, I don't know if I want to do Darren. Darren isn't, like, cool enough. It's not fantasy enough. I could go to a name... To a, wet, to a naming website and do that, but eh, I'm da 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 the 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 do 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 vel do do vel do dear da 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 Dar de devo now da 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 Dave, 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 Dav, Davon, Davin, Davi, da Davy. Davy is such a great name. Davy is such a great name. Del, the Veer, the Veer, the the Veer, the Veer, the Veer, Dav, Davar, Davar, Dav, 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 Davir. Davir, Davir, we got it. Davir, Davir. Yeah, I am Davir of I forgot of of the Imperials. Um, yes, I am Davir, Davir. Okay, well, in any case, I should probably uh, end that there for now. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting time. Yeah, indeed. So that is um, the start of this Skyrim meet thing. Hopefully, I can figure out how to cut that down to not be so incredibly boring. So, um, if uh, I guess until next time, if I, there is next time, see ya. Bye.